Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Just write, understand the spiritual warfare. Understand the spiritual warfare. The book of Daniel. Let's read chapter 10. We will start from 10 to 14. Write 10 to 14 and verse 20. Then behold, a hand touch me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. Verse 11, he said unto me, O Daniel, thou man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to humble thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words sake. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the king of Persia. Now I'm come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days for the vision is yet for many days. If we read verse 20, it says, Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore um, I am come unto thee? Now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. When I go forth, lo, the prince of Greece shall come. Can you see that verse there? When I go forth, lo, the prince of Greece shall come shall come. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. I think many times we don't understand why we are going through many things. A church is a battleground. So there is a spiritual warfare. Here you can see one man who was like an intercessor and the Bible says he was a prophet. When he searched scriptures, he began to pray according to those scriptures. It was, it was not the first time. There was a time on Daniel 9 when he was praying. For many days. And then also still. He got answers. But here you could see that the answers also were delayed. And then the, those who delayed the answers of Daniel were spirits that were working to control Persia. I wanted us to look at this verse clearly so that when we read it, maybe you will understand. Verse 20, it says, Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I am come unto thee, now will I, ret will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. The moment 
the message was sent. The delay came because of the prince of Persia. And the Bible says the Akka angel Michael came and helped the angel that was bringing the message. And because the Akka angel is the one who protect and fight for God's people, it was easy for this one to be released and bring the message. I was concerned about many messages we want to hear and we are not getting them. I was concerned about the blessings and the prayer requests we send to God Nike, and we don't see them being answered. There are spirits that ruled a place and such spirits will never allow you to receive so easy until we persist in what we are saying, we are persisting in the life. And now God will send the angel who fight. It will be easy for us to get answers. This angel says, when I return, the king of Persia is still there. The king of Persia is a, a demon. The prince, of, the prince of Persia was a demon that influenced whatever that was happening in Persia. When you see some people doing things which are strange is because they've been influenced. When you see some kind of life you are living which are not based to your expectation is because somewhere, somehow, some wrong people have been influenced. Remember that there's no blessing that comes from God is with someone. So automatically some people can be influenced to withdraw their hands to you. But the demon that is controlling the place. So the Bible says, when I return, I'm going to fight this prince of patience. But this time, it's no longer only the prince of Persia. When I move away, you must know that there's a prince of Greece that will come. And the prince of Persia Christianity has never so be simple the way we think. There are spirits that are controlling places. You overcome another one, another one will come. It shows that there is a, always a warfare. So we must be ready for a warfare. So you must be ready for a warfare. Can you just tell your neighbor the same thing? The spirits that are working on a place, they work to resist. Please don't be surprised when you see people who are resisting. They are there for resistance. Unless we overpower them, we will live in stagnation. You are placed in a place where there are spirits. And such spirits, they control a place. Unless you overcome those spirits, there is no life that you will live which is better. But you are continual in the things you are doing can bring results from above.
keep watching Charis TV.